Hello everybody, my name is Gothic Lords UK. I'm bringing you something brand new today. This is Boolean Air. This is a brand new game in development. It's currently free to play on itch.io. There'll be a link down in the description to it as well as the Discord that you can see linked down here. You can imagine this game like a mix between Peggle or Plinko and Luck Be A Landlord. And I can't wait to jump in and play some more of this. I've just had a few minutes with it just to get going. F Fortune Seeker, Grind Setter, welcome to the secret world of Boolean Air. The Veiled Order of Fortune has chosen you to embark on a cryptic endeavor, walking the fine line between boundless wealth and destitute despair. Whispered Tales speaketh of the Bullionaires, an elite cadre, cadre? cadre accruing unthinkable wealth, not merely through merit, but through the serendipitous cascade of a single ball. In a world governed by the fickle finger of fortune, your endeavor for affluence necessi necessitates a weekly tribute, an ever-growing monetary offering to the inscrutable deities of opulence. Navigate the perplexing path of prosperity and penury with each drop, and remember, every empire, no matter how grand, is but a roll away from ruin. Also, you owe us $100 by next Monday. Okay. So, we have our game board. The date is Monday, week one of seven. We have zero money and 100 is due next week and we are in the state of dropping. Here we have our grid and we can see a few items that have been populated for us. We have a potato, common food earns $5. We have plate, uncommon earned $10. Any food that you bank in this chain, bonk in this chain, scores two times. A pretzel, common food, $5. A map, uncommon, earned $10. Needed to find treasure chest and mover. Any mover you bonk in the chain scores 2x. And corn, common food spawner. If bonked directly after warning, spawn a corn baller. Right, let's drop a ball. So it comes in at the top, hits every peg. Every peg is worth a dollar, and we missed everything there. Rare mover, earn $25, teleport to another random portal. Well, with just one portal, that won't be super helpful. Common food, earn $5. Rare mover, earn $25. Just a little nudge up and to the right. Let's take a nudge. And we'll nudge that here to try and get the, to this plate more frequently. Then we drop a ball again. And so because we hit the plate, that doubled our potato. More corn, a crystal ball, uncommon and spooky. Earn $10 if not bonked during the drop. Grant a fourth choice after the drop. Treasure chest, rare, earn $100 if treasure chest and map are in a chain. Well, there's a map, so let's put the treasure chest right before the map, and hopefully those two can combo together nicely. Ah, so close. Another portal. Let's take a crystal ball and put it as far away as can be because I don't want it to be bonked. Then we'll have more choice of symbols moving forward. Potato, plant, tombstone, and bread. Earn $100 if toasted, hit by a corn baller. If bonked by egg ball, spawn aubergine. Rare spooky spawner. If bonked by a persona ball, kill it and spawn a ghost ball. If bonked by three body parts, leg ball, ear ball, and arm ball, and $500 and spawn a zombie ball now and permanently on each drop. I don't know what most of that means, but here, there's the tombstone. Oh, we got right to the right hand side. I think another map next to our treasure chest just makes sense. We've got $100 for our payment. Money changes personable into a coin ball and vice versa. Whale eats all balls that bonk it. As the whale grows full, it will eventually eject all eaten balls and earn $100 per ejected ball. That sounds dangerous, and I'm here for it. So we have no say in where our ball drops. It's always just straight in the top. They've taken $100 from us immediately, and we have $500 due next week. Give me another treasure chest to go above this line of maps that we're building. And the whale ate our ball. So let's put another whale like down here. Of course it manages to miss everything. ATM, when bonked by coin ball, increase balance by five. When bonked by personable, earn the balance. 
Ocean, go underwater. If underwater, three times in this chain, ball drowns and spawns a ghost ball. If bonked directly after warning, spawn an ice ball. Reverse gravity for the ball when bonked. Give me that and put it under my maps. And another one under my maps. I want a map chest line combo. All right, that's some good money, but we are gonna need some more. Inverse. Reverses gravity when bonked. All right, let's stick that down at the bottom here. Although I shouldn't have put it under my parachutes. I don't know. Earn $20, decreased by one every second since the drop. Well, put it right there then. That's easy money. Another map goes right there. Apparently that can only trigger once, that's fine. We do not have $500. All right, let's get straight into it again. I need more. We have a different selection of symbols. And we'll see what some of that does when we collect it. Our face turns into a coin. A nudge scores per unique food you bonk in this chain. All right, we can go with the food build, perhaps. There's a pretzel there. There's some bread and corn. Does it matter if it's before or after the chain? Scores per unique food you bonk in this chain. I don't think it cares when. So let's always bonk the trolley. And then any food you bonk in this chain scores 2x. So we'll stick that right under the trolley. And then I just want to select every piece of food we can. So an avocado. Earn $100 if the chain also contains toast. Probably not, but we'll do what we can. What's the broom doing? Not sure. Potato. All right, well, we're already doing great for our first week. Bread. I wonder if we fill out the whole triangle, what happens then? Give me another plate. We'll stick it there. Then we have to take a very specific route if we're not going to get to either that. Spawn an egg ball up to 12 per drop. Pan. If bonked by an egg ball, after the next bonk by person ball, score 10x. The bonk by person ball can even happen another day. I can't have both. But let's take the rare chicken. I don't know if the chicken... Did you count as food? No, just as spawner. All right, I'm going to encourage stuff in this direction. Oh, the chicken made an egg. I'm totally here for it. Corn. Rare spawner. What is the rainbow spawning, though? Give me another corn. And we'll go here with it. Avocado. Let's go there. I'm trying to keep the different, the like the non-unique foods as far apart as I can. None of this is food. So give me another shopping cart and we'll stick it right at the end of the run. Then if we can, we can maybe trend to the right-hand side. Right, we've got rent. Pre oh, it was the shopping cart. I wanted the pretzel. Never mind. I'm not even sure how many foods there are. The trolley wants us to get five plus for best scoring. We now need to get a thousand points for our next run. Potato twice there. Let's go on the right-hand side for potato then. And a pretzel here. Yeah, the trolley's doing good work for us, I think. 
Mythic Spooky, bring me the eggplant, and 500 if hit by aubergine. I'm not going to get an aubergine. I remember there was something. That's not what I wanted. Sure. Um, I wanted to peep behind this, but I guess I can't. Give me another plate. Let's stick it at the end down here. Although I'm not sure if I can double up on plate value. Give me a corn. I've got one there. So let's go one here. Ugh, I need a sea of chickens. That's what I want. All right, we got rent and it's only Thursday. Give me corn here. All right, I think I could actually put some food reliably behind these arrows if the egg is going to get to those as well. Another potato. Right, rent was gone. Rent is now 5,000. That's absurd. Reverse gravity for this ball when bonked. Let's stick that at the bottom of our big trail here. Ah, so close. And let's nudge in that direction so we can be more likely to get to these trolleys at the lower right hand side. More bread. Right, we filled up the top four rows. And multiple trolleys do score independently, which is good. Avocado. Let's go right there. Oh, we got completely yeeted out of the top. Bounces the ball upwards. When bonked by a ball, chop it in half. Each half scores 50% and ball halves may not be chopped again. Ah, oh, come on, hit the axe. I believe in you. Earn $20, increases by $5 every second since drop. Oh, God. It's a smidge gruesome, isn't it? Give me more shopping carts on this bottom line. They seem to be doing about 100 a go when they do get hit. Oh, we are super short for five grand. We got 2,000. God, we need some real synergies then. All right. We've got maps again, we've got a bunch of avocados at the bottom, and we've got some cash. But 5,000 is so much. If bonked by an egg ball, then after next bonk by person ball, score 10x. All right, let's go with a pan right here, and then I'm gonna look for chickens. When bonked by a coin ball, increase balance by five. Well, we can put that underneath the cash, and that might work out. Rare spawner earn 25. I don't know what you're spawning, but I'd rather spawn higher up the board, I guess. Stick that at the top for 20 easy cash every time. Right, the ATM's got five bucks in it. Another pan, but no chicken. Mythic spawner, cool down one second. Earn 50. When bonked or previously bonked rainbows, spawn a coin ball. Okay. There's a rainbow. So we want to encourage... and hit the clover. I don't know that I can really manipulate in any particular way, but more rainbows at the top, more clovers at the bottom. We do have rent. Um, changes person ball into coin ball. 
I guess I can stick that here for the ATM. And another pan. I need that chicken though. Another stopwatch. Go fast or go home. Go on, get the clover. Chicken. Another ATM. No, I'm going to nudge towards the frying pans. Give me a crystal ball in the corner. And if bonked by egg ball, spawn an aubergine. Did we hear, did we have rent? We did, another rainbow. You've got to do it. I need more clovers though. Another rainbow. All right, we're guaranteed rainbow. We're just not guaranteed clover. I also don't know if we're ever actually going to be able to hit that ATM with the way we've constructed things. I want to encourage this over towards the clover. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I'm so here for it. Um, portal. Rue. Bounce that up towards so it might have a second chance of getting the clover. And more nudging in that direction. I saw the aubergine, the eggplant, very briefly. Hint, choose one of these three triggers to add to your board. That should be four. Dear developer, if you are watching, when you have crystal ball, needs to contextually change to four. But it's all very early, I appreciate. I'm assuming there isn't a skip button, so I have to take something. So let's take some bread, put it next to all these avocados. I have no idea if I'm ever going to be able to make toast, but I will try. Right, we did have rent just barely, but now we're on week four where we need that 5,000 again. And at this rate, we are not going to cut it. Nudging, I'm not that interested in. A broom doesn't do anything for me. I guess I'm gonna nudge down towards the chicken. All right, let's take a mega stopwatch and stick it down there. Eggs, aubergines, axes. I'm not sure axes are actually good. I'm undecided. I need to put some worthwhile stuff here so when the rainbows do spawn coins, they have something to hit, you know? Earn 100 if treasure map was also hit. 
Just like that. Wow, what a series of turns. But we are short. All right, one more today. And then we'll see what else we can get going on another day. We've got two crystal balls, a couple of pretzels. What's new and different? The ocean. Go underwater. If underwater, three times in this chain, ball drowns and spawns a ghost ball. If bonked directly after warning, spawns an ice ball. So we can look for warning. We can look for more. Oh, there's warning. Okay. Then I will take a stopwatch on the immediate for 20 easy. Then map. Oh, my ice block shot off. All right, I'm gonna put a whale underneath this and see if I can just fill it with ice. I don't know if that's how that works, or I may regret things, but it's what I'm doing. Oh, it just disappears briefly. Sure. Let's stick an axe under the whale. So now we can score the whale and the not whale. doesn't bounce quite the same once it's been chopped in half, but that's fine. What? Uh, the whale paid out. <laughs> 410 out of the whale. Okay. Um, if bonked directly after warning, make corn baller or something. Can't be chopped again. Um, do we have treasure chest or map? No, we need more oceans. Because if we go three times, we get to be underwater or something. Let's nudge in that direction. Whale pays out. The whales do give good cash when they pop. We made toast or something? Um, none of you earn me very much money. I need another loaf of bread. There's a loaf of bread. Probably should have taken a moment to look at what else we had. We are well over what is due next week, which is nice. Let's take another ocean. Drowned and spawned a ghost. Do the ghosts score when they rise up? Do they just directly hit everything they pass through? I think they do. Yeah, I think the ghost does, which is interesting. Ice just sliding away. It's Tuesday. The ice is gone. All right, we might make it to Wednesday, uh, to week five, rather. Um, a rainbow. We don't have any lucky clovers. 
I'll take a treasure chest. It can go after the map there. And... Oh, oh and 100 if the chain also contains toast. So, warning, corn baller, toast, avocado is the dream, I think. We were started with a decent amount of avocado, I think. Friday. Maps and treasure chests together. Right, we've got two days to make 1,500. Oh, we cut the ghost in half. <laughs> Alright, that was 500. Oh, that was, th that was rent. Ah, we missed it. Alright, as I said, this is available for you to play right now if you would like to. There is a link in the description. There is a link to the Discord. You can go chat and give feedback to the developer on the game. I think there's about seven of us over on the Discord right now, so come say hi. Um, introduce yourself to the developer. Let them know that you want to play their game. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe for more. Hit the like button. All that good stuff. Cheers.